Hello my lovelies, welcome back. It's bloody pouring down and I've just put a summer makeup video up because that's how I live. Um, but yes, it's pouring down and I thought I would film this video, which is a slightly different video in that I am going to reply to your comments that you leave on my YouTube videos. Normally I sit, I read them all and I type my answers back to you. And I thought, actually, let's do it this way and have a bit of verbal interaction and, you know, get your names out there. So the first comment came from my July videos and this was from Charmed Wench, who was currently using the Revolution Skincare. This was in relation to me using the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. And she was saying that she felt that um, it was a dupe for the Ordinary. Um, she may try the Ordinary out after she's finished the Revolution. Although Revolution is cheap, I think Ordinary is cheaper still. And I think it varies. Some of the Ordinary products are a little bit more expensive and you know, obviously that's based on what they contain, the ingredients, where they're sourced. I think they're much of a muchness. Um, on that note, I have struggled the last week with the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. I started, I've been fine with it, really liked it, and then suddenly I've been using it and it's really stinging my skin. So I thought, well, I'll just stop. And I stopped and went back to my lovely Vichy Thermal Hydrating Serum, which is my sort of cushion that I fall back on when things go a bit, ooh. And actually it's been better without it. So I'm weighing up whether to go back to Glossier um, and their pure um, serum because I really liked that. I don't know why all of a sudden this has been a problem, but my skin really wasn't happy with the ordinary. Um, Stephanie Sold, hello lovely. She says, have you ever tried the products from Paula's Choice? They have lots of options and are also cruelty free. Oh, and I loved that moment in Stranger Things too. So I was talking about the Netflix series Stranger Things with Dusty Bun and his girlfriend singing um, Never Ending Story, which was just so sweet. So yes, I think a lot of people like that. Um, I have tried Paula's Choice. I was very lucky they sent me some PR. I got a very nice serum, which was lovely. Um, I've had a few things. Yes, nice. I like the advice. I feel it's gone, I don't know. Like many things, when they start getting bigger, they sort of lose their way a bit. So yes, the products have worked, but I've never had anything, Stephanie, that sort of wowed me um, as yet. Things have been okay, but there's been nothing that I've thought, oh, I really must rave about this and get the flags up and things. So yes, it's okay. I think the information that you get from Paula's Choice, the website is incredible. Um, but I also feel you still need to do your own research as well. Don't just take everything on one website as gospel. Have a look across the board. So skincare's fine. I've just not found anything that's really, you know, bells and whistles for me. Um, Dominique, who also loves Stranger Things and Dusty Buns as well. Um, Kate Shaw, lovely Kate, hello darling, so nice to see your pretty face again Beck. thank you Kate, um, it's always nice to film. Um, Lady Coco, Lulu Guinness should really come out with red lipsticks, she's famous for her red lips, I think I featured my makeup bag that my friend bought me, and yes, I mean Lulu Guinness to me is like the epitome of the dark hair, the red lips, and she does the lip handbags and everything else. You'd think her PR agent, somebody, would have said to her, you need to bring lipsticks out. Maybe she will. Maybe it's just not her thing, but yes. Right, then to my Beauty Empties video. I had a few comments um, on there. Dominique, I mentioned that um, Jenny, the lovely Jenny, and another lady, Karen, had told me that Simple, because we had that confusion about Simple being cruelty-free, and they kindly said that, simple are cruelty free and they're on the peter list because i've had a look but dominique again who knows far more about these things than i do she's as confused still she says i'm still confused about simple she's going to keep looking into it um yeah it's just really really confusing they don't have it on their packaging but yet they're on the lists i don't know i really don't know so any more information on that kind of thing please send it along. Lovely Gail, makeup look good. I'll look forward to seeing that video because I'd done the makeup 
before obviously I'd filmed the empties video. Um, Moni Sparks, Moni Sparks. So happy to see you, great job as ever. Please never stop filming. Thank you so much, that's really lovely. That's nice to read, I really appreciate it. Um, a cleansing balm video. Now I filmed this a long time ago, over five years ago, but a comment's come up. Apologies if I don't pronounce your name correctly. Praga, Pragya, um, Kashapati, Kashapati, I apologise. Can Pimply Face use Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm? Now then, <laughs> I'm a little bit unsure about what's going on with Emma Hardy currently because it's their 10th anniversary. It's one of my favourite cleansing balms ever. You all know. However, their new 10th anniversary balm has added essential oils. Now, I have no idea. I've not been sent the new one. I have no idea if this is just like a celebratory one-off limited edition or whether their cleansing balm is going to continue with the essential oils. So, the original, yes, fine. With lots of essential oils, I would be a little bit wary if you have breakout skin issues. Doesn't always happen, but I know how my skin is with essential oils currently. So you really need to do your research on which one you'd like to use and the ingredients within. Um, on the empties video again, the lovely Leona. Oh, beautiful girl. Um, hey Bex, looking beautiful as always. Love the sound of the concealer, which was the Revolution Fast Base Concealer. Can't recommend it enough. Um, hope you and the family are all well. We are, darling, and I hope you are as well. I hope your sister, mum and children are all really, really well. Um, summer makeup. This has just popped up four minutes ago. The lovely Kate, again. How apt, Kate. This is, um, you can judge a man's true character by the way he treats his fellow animals. Paul McCartney said that. You're just lovely, Beck. Um, this is, I think I was relating to, oh, seagull issues and sometimes I just despair of my fellow man and woman. I just, I've just experienced such, I don't know, I just, I haven't the words for how sad sometimes I feel when I see what happens to creatures that feel and understand and oh it's just heartbreaking and I know people feel strongly about seagulls and I know seagulls can be very aggressive and very scary but I see the other side of them as well and I just find it really upsetting. Um, so yes, you can judge a person's character and to be honest anybody who has ever said to me oh I'm, I don't really like animals or you know oh I don't have animals da 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 I kind of switch off from them straight away. I just know they're not my cup of tea. No, we're not going to have a relationship or a future. No. So thank you for that, Kate. Yes, that's a perfect quote, um, most definitely. So that's answering your comments this way. Let me know if you like that. Let me know if you would prefer that I replied to them as I've normally done by typing back to you. That's not a problem either. I just thought it'd be nice to just do something a little bit different. Right, I'm gonna go. I'll leave you with this video. Comments below on how you feel. Um, and I'll be back with a more normal video next time. Bye for now.